Hi everyone, it's Miss Sabrina from the office. I wanted to share with you today one of my favorite books called Wemberly Worried by Kevin Hanks. Wemberly Worried. Wemberly Worried about everything. Big things. I wanted to make sure you were still there. Little things and things in between. Mama, what if I shrink? Wemberly worried in the morning, she worried at night, and she worried throughout the day. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. At home, Wemberly worried about the tree in the front yard. What if it falls on our house? And about the crack in the living room wall. What if it gets smaller and something comes out of it? And the noise the radiator made. What if there's a snake inside? At the playground, Wemberly worried about the chains on the swings, the bolts on the slide, and the bars on the jungle gym. Too rusty, too loose, too high. And she always about worried about her dog, doll, Petal. Shouldn't Petal have a car seat too? I found her, sweetie. Petal's lost forever. I'll wait for you, Petal. Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father. But Wemberly worried. She worried and worried and worried. When Wemberly was especially worried, she rubbed Petal's ears. Wemberly worried that if she didn't stop worrying, Petal would have no ears left at all. On her birthday, Wemberly worried that no one would come to her party. See, said her mother, there's nothing to worry about. This is the best present ever. I wish it was my birthday today. But then Wemberly worried about there wouldn't be enough cake. On Halloween, Wemberly worried that there would be too many butterflies in the neighborhood parade. See, said her father, there was nothing to worry about. But then Wemberly worried because she was the only one. You worry too much, said her father. When you worry, I worry, said her mother. Worry, 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 said her grandfather. Too much worry. Soon, Wemberly had a new worry, school. Wemberly worried about the start of school more than anything she'd ever worried about before. By the time the first day arrived, Wemberly had a long list of worries. What if no one else has spots? What if no one else wears stripes? What if no one else brings a doll? What if the teacher's mean? What if the room smells bad? What if they make fun of my name? What if I can't find the bathroom? What if I ate the snack? What if I have to cry? Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father, but Wemberly worried. She worried and worried and worried and worried. She worried all the way there. Have fun, said Grandma. When Wemberly's parents talked to the teacher, Mrs. Peachum, Wemberly looked around the room. Then Miss Peachum said, Wemberly, there is someone I think you should meet. Her name was Jewel. She was standing by herself. She was wearing stripes and she was holding a doll. At first, Wemberly and Jewel just peeked at each other. This is Petal, said Wemberly. This is Niblet, said Jewel. Petal waved. Niblet waved back. Hi, said Petal. Hi, said Niblet. I rub her ear, said Wemberly. I rub her nose, said Jewel. Throughout the morning, Wemberly and Jewel sat side by side and played together whenever they could. Petal and Niblet sat side by side too. Wemberly worried, but no more than usual, and sometimes even less. Before Wemberly knew it, it was time to go home. Come back tomorrow, called Mrs. Peachum as the students walked out the door. Wimberly turned and smiled and waved. I will, she said. Don't worry. The end. Thank you for listening to Wimberly Worried with me. I hope to see you all soon. Bye.